Okay, so here we are at step two. I've put in the stakes, as you can see. Um, as it happens, uh, my hill here is pretty, uh, pretty even, so you can see on the edge that those stakes are more or less in a straight line. Um, you know, that will depend on, you know, the curvature of your hill. And um, so now I'm just going to dig out from stake to stake, you know, a front line. And it's really important that the front line is level. The back line doesn't have to be as level um, because the water is going to come down and then it's going to fill up. And as long as this front portion is level, it'll all fill in evenly. Um, the back, you know, the back edge does not necessarily have to be so. Um, but generally you're going to want that to be higher than, um, than the front level. Uh, another thing to consider is how wide do you want your swale. So this is my front lawn. It's, um, in the camera it looks really long, but in reality it's maybe, I don't know, 60 feet, something like that. So what I'm going to have is, eventually anyways, is a series of small swales rather than really large swales. So over this course I might have, you know, six swales or so. So because there will be so many, the, the size of each swale does not need to be as much. Um, but, you know, that's something to consider when you're designing your own site. Um, so yeah, we'll check back and you'll see uh, some digging.